So we're having a fab time in Liverpool with the Fab, fab Four. four. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing city. It's uh, so different from when I used to come here many years ago. It's absolutely so geared up for tourism now, isn't it? It's, it's amazing how they restore, and re renovate, rejuvenate the old cities. I mean, it's just, it is all about tourism but it's fantastic and there's so much to do. We, we haven't been able to do too much because Richard's foot has still been sore from the walk, hasn't it? So we've had a few days resting up, having some great time with the foxes, aren't we? Yeah, um, we there's are. not a day goes by when they're not bombing us for coffee or we're not going in there for coffee. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we're just now gonna start going out and about and doing a few bits and pieces. What's on the cards? Well, we were gonna do the ferry today but um, it's fully booked for the next few hours so we'll book it online for maybe tomorrow or the day after we've got to go up to crosby up um, up the coast a bit on the train to see the anthony gormley standing statues in the sand we're booked in for the art gallery for the tate gallery tate modern um yeah. and well i don't know we've just got some we've, we've i've been up into the shopping center a couple of times that's enough unless we've <laughs> got to go back um, there's a massive shopping centre which many people will love but that's not for us and we need to try and find a historic part of town yeah we do we could go to the cavern club today go to the cavern yeah not sure the dogs are appreciating it all though no that's the only thing the only criticism so far is there's really very few places to let the dogs have a little run and Archie's um, more of a Rolling Stones fan anyway <laughs> I think he's more the Wombles. <laughs> <laughs> but we're loving, absolutely loving it. And the weather's been glorious. It's fantastic. Um, it's and gorgeous. to see iconic buildings like the Liver Tower and the Liver Birds. And, and it's just, you see pictures of this so often. And when you're actually here, it's just weird, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. It's, it's fantastic. So all this history, all this Mersey beat, it's a... Uh, influence from the 60s it's still here and i went into the beatles shop yesterday to buy a few beatles bits and bobs he went in just to have a look apparently but <laughs> it cost me more than i thought <laughs> but there's kids in there like seven and eight and they're singing beatles songs and they're running around saying oh i love this this is fab i want this mum want this beatles t-shirt so it's the it just continues you know 50 yard years after they disbanded the beatles are still holding sway it's yeah. a fantastic thing yeah. to see so we'll show you a bit more um when we do all these little bits and the other big thing that we're doing is the tour in a taxi oh yeah we're doing the beatles tour in a taxi in a yellow taxi so that's going to be really exciting so uh stick along wasn't that a journey which was song? yellow taxi yeah yeah come on girl Anyway, <laughs> eight year old John Lennon with his cousin, and you can see David. We know it's conventional to take wine, but on this occasion, we've brought pickled garlic buds because they're ready to test. So, um we will see. I'm hoping for honest opinions. Oh, you'll that, get honest opinions. <laughs> there might be a little bit of gurning going on, if you know what that is. We'll see. Oh, he would too, wouldn't he? It looks like a good restaurant, doesn't it? Fabulous. Look at these. Are you pleased with yourself, Sean? I'm always pleased with myself. Yes. <laughs> these look fab. I'm not sure about those though. So here's the moment of truth. Sniff before you eat, please. <laughs> oh. oh. <coughs> and I want honest opinions. What is it? What are they? So pickled garlic, wild garlic buds. Are we showing? There we go. Pickled wild garlic buds. Just, just one because they are strong. What, like one little bush? No, 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 the like whole the, thing, so that's that. it, that's it, yeah. I bet I just can have some cherry coke ready just in case. Yeah, don't dip it in your cherry coke, huh? <laughs> No, take your fingers off your nose. <laughs> oh my God. 
Go on. No tons. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Actually, <laughs> that is. His face. It's a bit like you. Once you get over the smell, it's actually all right. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> no, that's quite nice, actually. They're actually. They actually don't taste garlicky, they taste sweet. But yeah, they smell really garlicky, but then once once you've had it in your mouth a few seconds... Oh, it's gone for a second. It can't be that bad. No, that's really nice. It's like pickled onions, isn't it? Because they smell like really strong when you're like... But then once you... They taste really sweet. Yeah. No, I quite like these, friend. Right, I'll, yeah. I'll order another jar, thanks. So, well done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a winner, then. Yeah. That's a winner, friend. Cheers, thank you. Up. That's brilliant. Well, good job. There's another one ticked off the bucket list, isn't it? Ooh. I love you. So that's it, that's our stay in Liverpool done with. We're off today, we've been here for 11 days. I know, I can't believe it, we've done so much. It's been just such an interesting city. We've eaten ourselves silly. Oh, we've had, man. The food is amazing, there's places to eat everywhere. So much to do, we've only done a fraction of it. And only last night found out that we'd missed a fabulous library, which we didn't even know existed. Um, but you just can't do everything, can you? you? Just We've enjoyed a little bit of a rest. We've had a few beers and a few meals out. A few laughs. Um, walked our socks off. Day on the beach. Yeah. Museums, everything. But cities, you know, just get to us after a while. And yeah. we haven't heard a bird apart from a seagull <laughs> in 10 days. Um, the wildlife in the water is confined to jellyfish. <laughs> And the odd eel. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's so it's been fun. Thank you, Liverpool. It's been really, really good fun. So now we're heading to uh, Eastham Lock, back across the Mersey, 
down the Manchester Ship Canal, but we're not going as where we started. We're coming off at Ellesmere Port. And it's quite lucky, we'd already decided to do that, but there's problems on all the waterways again. And I think there's only two ways we can go, that way and through the link onto the Leeds-Liverpool Canal, which yeah. we don't want to do at the moment. So our plans have actually worked out in our favour just for once. This is the only way we can go and it's the way we're going. But it's an exciting day today on the water, isn't it? Well, apparently so. There's some sort of boat race happening around us as we're crossing, so it's going to be interesting. Some kind of boat race. A, some kind of boat race. A regatta. A, a yacht regatta. regatta. Is that right? um, so, yeah, that could be interesting, but we'll see. We're waiting for our pilot to arrive. He's coming on our boat this time rather than the foxes, and so we're in charge. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> gates are closing now behind us and there are actually eight yachts in here with us. It's amazing. It's going to be busy out there. Right, here we go. Home run. All the boats have left and uh, Colin and Sean behind and we've got about half an hour or so of a little bit choppy waters by the looks of it. Brave or stupid, one or the other. <laughs> oh, we don't want to see you again either. No, no, no. It's too late That was exciting, the RNLI boat came alongside us for a chat. They came speeding towards us, I wondered what was going on. Uh, but um, they just wanted to chat and congratulate us for being on the river. Things have calmed down a little bit now, Fran's doing really well. The water's not so choppy just here now and uh, yeah, really enjoying it. It's just amazing, um, really amazing just to be out here. Half an hour's enough though.
How was that, Fran? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was another adventure. It's so different to the crossing on the way over. Um, a few surprises. I'm so glad we took a guide with us, you know, because you think you know what's happening, but the water does funny things. And because the tide was turning, it takes the boat. You head towards a point in the distance and you find that you're drifting like way off if you're not keeping your wits about you, as you will see from the footage. Well, I don't know how he navigates because things are in such, so far in the distance, but he obviously he's done it so many times he knows exactly where to point the boat at. Well, I was given, because you were filming and I was driving, so I'd be given a block of flats to aim for, and then when I got near them, it would be um, a pylon to line, you know, aim for. Chimney so each little yeah. bit, and he obviously knows it well enough to know each little landmark, but the water, the flow of the water still takes you off. And of course, we had sailing boats to navigate as well, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> and green boys. Well, uh, yes. The less said about yes. that, the better. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's all that excitement over and done with. Um, we're back on still waters. Oh, yeah. In uh, Ellesmere Port. And um, really loving it again, aren't we? Back on narrow locks and canals. The dogs have got grass to roll around on again for the first time in 10 days. Yeah, and they're loving uh, it, aren't they? Yeah, it's not the quietest of places No, we've got a hotel there. And that's their extraction system but going it's up in the background. Peaceful, if not quiet, if that makes sense. <laughs> Something like that, anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're back, as you say, back on canals, back to locks and um, lovely. So thanks for watching and uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and all that nonsense and uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you soon. <laughs> Archie says bye. <laughs> <laughs> like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see